Oh, hello. Are you early or are you late? Are you my next appointment or were you supposed to be here? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am glad. Glad to see you. Um, can I offer you some water? Anything before we get started? Here, sure. Uh, Miller High Life class? No? Ready to go? Okay, I'll have some water. There's some large plane overhead. Do not worry about that. You do not have to worry about anything in here today. Although, if you are worried, that's okay too. Um, so I guess I'll start by asking you how you are feeling. If you're feeling worried at all, stressed, anxious, or if you actually sort of feel normal right now. Okay, so tell me more about that. What do you mean by this is your normal? Okay. So when you say tension, where do you feel? Let's take a deep breath right now, huh? Sit back with me. And when you take a deep breath, it's not supposed to be here in your shoulder. <sighs> That's not a deep breath. Your deep breath is in your belly. So if you wear a tight jeans, I am. So button them. I'll button them a little bit. Okay. I want you to scan through your body with me, starting at your toes. I know we want to start at your head, but that's too easy. Start with your toes. How do your toes feel? Toes. No, this is an important question. How do your toes feel? How do do how, now take another deep breath how about how's your ankles give them a little twisty for me how's your ankles clicky poppy anything interesting okay good to know write that down and uh okay feet flat on the floor are you feet flat on the floor or are you lying down if you're lying down Make sure your hips are uh, flat on your surface. Flat. Flatten yourself a little bit. How do you feel in your hips? I know that's a weird question, but I'm asking, like, do you feel safe right now? So, if we want to increase your feelings of safety, I'm going to... Take a little moment to focus on you, actually. If you want to come here a little closer, come here a little closer. Bring your hand a little closer. Focus. You need to feel a little safer. You need to feel a little safer, so I'm just gonna just gonna try to clear off your graphic glasses a little bit. And you, you wanna wipe your eyes for me? You've got a little bit of little crusties or do you want me to do it? You okay with me touching your eyes? So I'm just gonna wipe, wipe you a little bit of crusties, a little bit of crusties here. Get those a little bit more on the, little more on the other side. That's less, okay? That's good, that's good. Um, you actually have something, like, on the side of your hip as well, so I'm just gonna... No, actually... Do you feel okay? Do you feel okay? Is there anything more I can do for you right now? Here, you wait one second. You just wait right here. I'm going to be right back.
Sweet patience. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Brought some things back. Let's see here. Let's see here. I brought you some things. Brought you some things. Brought some things back with me. So first, um, I have sort of a, you ever wanted a pocket watch? I've wanted a pocket watch before. Do they make those? I don't know anymore. But uh, this is the watch. It's just a little charm, but it makes a nice, I think it makes a nice sound. So if you want to fidget with this. leave that over there with you and I also got this huge box of oh my god it smells so good naturally decaffeinated black tea so I really like tea because it tastes tastes calm even though it's also kind of energizing I think it tastes a lot calmer than coffee though like even decaf coffee tastes like to me but even caffeinated tea tastes kind of calm so this is naturally decaf because they oxidize that sounds really nice oxidize the tea leaves before they turn it into black tea before they ferment it so not sure exactly how that works but they say there's less caffeine so i'm gonna believe it it's this nice Big box. You know what it says on the back? Um, actually, no, it's not on the back. It's somewhere on the side here. Our guarantee. If you are not satisfied with the quality of this product, we will replace it or refund cost, whichever you prefer. Send the front panel, including the five digit embossed code, along with the price paid date and place of purchase along with your printed name and address and reason for dissatisfaction to the address below. I think that that's respectable. I think that that's respectable because it shows they're committed committed to good tea. I like it committed to good tea. I'm very picky about tea and coffee. I think it's rewarding to be picky about such things. I also have a candle for us because you deserve to feel safe in your life and I think flame is a great representation for life because it requires air and fuel just like we do and it requires shelter from the weather and faith to be kept going fires do not form by themselves and neither do people so as this burns I would like you to think about yourself as a candle something that needs fuel and air and protection and care but those are two different things yeah those are two different things so I'm actually going to push this here and tilt you down so you can see me okay also have some things to read to you if you're not really in the mood to answer questions which it seems like you would rather hear me read so I can ask you questions about my reading you don't have to stay silent but you also don't have to talk I don't want you to feel like you have to talk or think or anything you can just relax so I'm gonna start with night 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 I could actually go to that exact uh, poem if you would like to hear Night, Night, Night. It's this page. Night, Night, Night. Night, 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 said one night to the other night, the other night. Night, Night, Night. <laughs> and on the other side we have Peter Pepper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 
and um, I like this one. I am running in a circle. I am running in a circle and my feet are getting sore and my head is spinning, spinning as it's never spun before. I am dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. Oh, I heart raining upside down is so hard. Oh, I cannot bear much more. I am trapped in a revolving, 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 revolving door. <laughs> I, I read these when I was very, very young, so these are very, very, very nostalgic for me. This one's kind of creepy. Well, creepy when I was two, you know. Um, no, that's the art. I'm going to read it to you because it's too long. Overheard on a salt marsh. Nymph, nymph, what are your beads? Glass, green glass, goblin. Why do you stare at them? Give them me. No. Give them me. Give them me. No. Then I will howl all night in the reeds, lie in the mud and howl for them. Goblin, why do you love them so? They are better than stars or water, better than voices of winds that sing, better than any man's fair daughter, your green glass beads on a silver ring. Hush, I stole them out of the moon. Give me your beads, I desire them. No, I will howl in a deep lagoon for your green glass beads, I love them so. Give them me, give them me. No. Oh, why would you show that to a kid? But why wouldn't you show that to a kid? I don't know. I really need to write kids' books. I have an idea. I have several. It's hard. Okay. So there's Night, Night, Night. I also have my, another childhood favorite, Us Born Greek Myths. So while you guys were reading Percy Jackson, I haven't read it yet, still I have a copy waiting here for me that my friend is bullying me into reading, and I thank him for that, but this is how I consumed Greek mythology as a child. Um, the Gift of Fire was crazy, Pandora's Box is crazy. I like the story of Arachne, so that's what we're gonna read. There she is, and her little, okay. The Story of Arachne. Arachne sat at her loom, weaving brilliant threads into wonderful patterns. She smiled as she worked and sang a happy little song. People in her village and from all over the country came to see the beautiful things this girl wove. Arachne loved hearing them all tell her how clever she was, and she grew very conceited. I can weave better patterns than even the goddess Athena, she boasted to an old woman. Hush, Athena may hear you, whispered the woman. I don't care, said Arachne loudly. Now, Everyone knew that it was very dangerous to talk about the gods and goddesses. If they heard something they didn't like, they could play nasty tricks on people. At that moment, <laughs> Athena appeared in the doorway of Arachne's house. Arachne leapt up from her loom and knelt in front of the goddess weaving. Oh, I can read, I promise. At that moment, Athena appeared in the doorway of Arachne's house. Arachne leapt up from her loom and knelt in front of the goddess of weaving, looking proudly up at her. I think I heard you speak my name, said Athene. I've come to see your weaving. She smiled, but her voice was so icy. Everyone watching scurried away in fright. Athene looked at the weaving on the loom. Yes, she said, and I have to admit it is very good. Could you do better, said Arachne boldly. We shall see answered Athena. We shall have a competition, you and I, and then we will see. Athena and Arachne set to work at their looms, weaving away for days. They used the brightest threads and most unusual patterns. At last, the two pieces were finished. They took them off the looms and laid them down side by side. Everyone came to admire them and tried to decide which was best. Arachne stared at the two lovely pieces of weaving in silence. Then she screamed with rage. 
But did I say Rackney or Athena? I meant Athena if I said Rackney. Although she would never admit it, she could see that Arachne's weaving was better than her own. She grabbed it and ripped it from top to bottom. As you are so clever at weaving, she screamed at the terrified Arachne, you shall weave forever and no one will ever want what you weave. She tapped Arachne lightly on her shoulder. The girl dropped to the ground. As everyone watched in horror, she shriveled into a dark, small blob, grew eight legs, and ran away into a dark corner. Athena had turned Arachne into the first spider. From that moment on, Arachne and all her many descendants have woven beautiful webs. You may see them in dusty corners or sparkling with dew in the early morning. Again, why are we telling children this? But like, what, what else do you tell them? What else do you tell them? The good stuff? That's gone? No, I... Okay. It's not gone. You're safe. I was trying to get you to feel safe, and now I'm talking about my beliefs, which makes me crazy. I gotta be less crazy so that you can be less crazy. Isn't that how this works? It's a back and forth. I really like watching those videos of the the Japanese, the half Japanese lady, Ismar Twix, that goes, she's in, I guess she lives in Japan now, because she just goes to Japanese spas and like, her twin sister films it. Ah, like, what kind of life is that? The best one? Screw off. Screw off is what I just said. You know, actually, it's probably better because then I don't have to go through that. Okay. Now I have questions. When I'm talking like this, does it make you relaxed or do, did you enjoy when I was being more pointed? Because obviously it's easier for me to talk all random like this and I don't have to think ahead of time, but maybe you can tell that I'm not thinking ahead of time and therefore it doesn't feel quite as, I wonder. Basically ever since I came back from grabbing stuff, I've been winging it, but then again, I've kind of been winging it the whole time. And you know, that's the great part about it all. I think we're always winging it. I think most people are winging it most of the time. I actually so little believe in intention or uh, pre, pre you, you Oh no. I may or may not have been watching all of Ugly before I started filming. May or may not be consuming other ASMR while I'm making ASMR. And the video just turned on because I didn't want the TV to be off, but this is what I get. This is what I get. Oh, you know what? That's better. That's so much better. You know what's crazy is the flame looks much taller in real life than it does on camera. That kind of goes with what I was saying in a weird way about people just winging it. I think there's something about the natural world that most people don't understand. I think there's something about the natural world that I don't understand that I can feel that I don't understand it and I can feel where it is because I can conceive of what it is that I don't understand, but not necessarily understanding it itself. I watched too many Ghibli movies. Actually, too many is a word. It's not one word either. It's like three words. It's two. I can't count. I can't do anything anymore. My brain's all reshuffled. It's regungified. Um, I hope that these 20 minutes have been as interesting for you as they have been for me, because you know what I'm gonna do? Apply to work at my local library. And if that doesn't seem like the type of thing an ASMR just does in real life, then I don't know what does. Actually, I do have one thing to show you.
if you'll follow me. This is unconventional. I've never done a walk around ASMR video, but maybe people would like this. Um, that was loud. How was that? Okay. Uh, this is my in-home library, the bookshelf that we have put together in our house. There's really a lot of books. That's a lot of it is manga. My, my, my partner's manga, but a lot of them are just my books. Actually, that's only some of my books because I have I have more books. I have a lot of things. I should show you my things sometime. Thank you for watching. If you still are, did at all. I mean, seriously, thank you. And I didn't use my mic because I'm going to start using my mic again once I get a computer. I mean, I have a computer, but it's not an Apple computer. It's a Windows. Okay. I've been long-winded enough. You are probably already done. So I'm going to say sayonara. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And you deserve it.